Hello and welcome to, I don't know if it's going to be a series, but it's not building the Big Base Box for once, but we are going to be using the Big Base Box, but we're going to be hopefully trying to install UB Funkies on it. Now, the biggest problem with running UB Funkies on like a modern version of Windows, like Windows 10, is that it just doesn't work. The driver for this hub thing, which... In case you haven't seen UB Funkies before, which you probably haven't, it was not a very popular game. You take these people and put it on there. It's sort of like Amiibos, but before Amiibos. And then you've got, you know, the Nintendo eCard, which was kind of Amiibo before Amiibos, but that's just another topic. The driver for this only works on Windows XP. Now, you may notice something. Uh, we don't have Windows XP installed on this. We may install it at some point, because we definitely have plenty of space to install it. We only have Windows 98, but I found a workaround previously, and uh, I'm actually going to move the camera a little bit further back so you can see the little hub. Okay, now that you can see the hub, we're just going to turn the computer on. And uh, my Windows 98 disk is missing, so we're going to hope that that's in the disk drive. I assume it is. We're going to turn on the power supply first. I want to get a 3D printer at some point and 3D print a button insert and I plug them into the speakers. Yep, there's our disc. And I should just do all that. Make some beautiful noises. I love this computer. I love how it just has like 1,200 pieces of basically bloatware. But then again, that's just Windows nowadays, isn't it? So, we have a few things for getting this to work. Uh, we have a copy of was a 4.0 version of the game, I think. We have a... I don't own the 1.0 version, but the 1.0 version had a driver for Windows 98. So on this USB stick, we have a copy I downloaded from the internet. It should be fine because I'm not actually even going to play the 1.0 version. I'm just going to steal the driver from it so that I can use it with Windows 98 and 4.0 version. Anyways, we set up the network thing, which I still need to test if that works. But that's another video, and we're just going to listen to the beautiful little speakers. That is <laughs> uh, best stuff. Okay. Now we're going to insert that drive we're looking for. You may do some <laughs> like retro gameplay videos with the uh, Cam Studio. So, just to demonstrate the issue we have, I'm going to insert our disk. And I think it should auto start because security is Microsoft. I'm going to set our thingy in front of him. I'm going to go get the mouse pad. Fuji film. Oh, it's. Hit the eject button, you didn't do anything. Huh. We're already running into technical difficulty, and we haven't even tried to install it yet. I was just going to demonstrate what happens when you try to install it. Well, I'm going to go stick my Windows 98 installer back onto my rack of other installers. <laughs> install. I have now installed install into everybody's brain, so that they will be cursed to install installing into other people's brain. I don't know. I'm going to stop saying installing now. Let's try it. Oh, it did the thing again. Oh, there comes the drive. That scared me. <laughs> Let's see. Is it still showing up? D instead of disk. I made a boop. Let's go E really quick. Oh, wait. E doesn't. Oh, wait. E will be down here. That was not a good idea, apparently. 
We're still gonna go. I don't know why it is, but look where I wonder what added that. It probably was Windows. Okay, I'm just gonna open up this folder. Check out it has a few things. I open up this folder. Okay. Whew, Sixty seconds. I think the time it said it was gonna take forever, and it took forever. I have a stopwatch going. I'm gonna. Hopefully display the actual time it took on the screen, because I can just look at the you know, distance between the clips. Though I did have to stop recording in the middle because I did not realize it was going to take like two billion years. So let's see, it's getting down to that point. According to the stopwatch, I started like probably a few minutes in. 11.42.39. We're gonna go try to install it from the disk now just cause you know disk. But the hard drive light, well, it looked really crazy as well. It was like bleh. I mean, it's got some like spots on it and stuff. It's not that scratched. If it doesn't work, we're just going to use the um, one I got from the internet, probably. Is what I got. And this will be the first video of February. Okay, it opened. Why didn't it run auto run? Well, whatever. We'll run setup. And this is verifying installer, which will probably take a while because uh, Windows 98, Pinion 3. You guess why it's going to take a while? The installer here is corrupt or incomplete, the computer is just failed to download, or a virus. Okay, we're skipping it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see where MS-DOS prompt. Let's see, this is, oops, this is the D, oh. Oh, that was a control. That's D. Set up, what was it, it was slash MRC. Also, <laughs> funny story, I looked, um, while I was taking that video, which I hopefully showed, I looked inside the computer case, I saw red, and I was like, hmm, is this, not, like, getting that hot or something? Like, I didn't think it could be, like, I see CRTs glow. Hmm, looks cool, but I mean, then I realized that the hard drive emulator thing Majiggy has, a red LED on it to indicate, I don't know, writing maybe? NCRC. Set up slash NCRC. Set. Set up slash NCRC. Now I should skip that. There we go. I doubt this is going to work. First off, it looks like it, it matches everything. I agree, and I kind of steal my video. I'm going to hit next. And do all that stuff. But it's not going to work. Mustard mark? Yep. And cancel. But it would pop up the screen saying, plug in the thingamajiggy, and the thingamajiggy would not be detected. So we're going to eject the disk. Now, it is very difficult to run this on oops, modern computer because Windows 10 again doesn't have a driver. You can use some like cheat engine stuff to just cheat in, you know, what character you want to be, but that's just cheating. <laughs> so, you would either have to install a Windows XP virtual machine or get out of Windows XP. 
like laptop or something, or desktop, it doesn't matter, I don't know, is it laptop? <laughs> but, there's a way to install on Windows 98, which would take up less space, I feel, than Windows XP, but it requires you have two copies, well, the installer kind of works, we're just going to use these two downloaded copies, I'm sure. It's fine, I mean, I have these things, that proves that it was bought at one point, and I had the disc, and I don't have the disc for this, but that's just mostly there so that we can use it. So, this one, all we have to do is just set this up. Very simple. It's going to fly through everything, hopefully. Except for verifying solo, because that's probably all based on, well, it looks like it's going faster. But it should go through everything much quicker than a CD or a USB 1.0. I could ever do because a CD meh, and uh, USB 1.0 was uh, designed for mice and keyboards. So why do you have to enable mice and keyboards working through BIOS? I don't know. Next, I agree. See program files. As you can see, this seems to be going at the same speed. <laughs> oh, it's extracting everything, so that's why it's going at the same speed. Well, it's going a little faster. Jump. Okay. Cat. Jungle installation disk cannot be found. Oh, well, it doesn't need it apparently. Now we hit next. Run UB files. Awesome. An address violation. Or a memory access violation. Whatever you want to call it. And the hardware is not. Go. Oh. Hedgehog does not seem to be bifty booping, so I'm gonna take that as a. You. Uh. Can, no. I'm not gonna run. But. We will install. Now we're going to go back up to my documents. We're gonna move this in here. And open it. And open it. Set up. Better. Okay. This one asks you to plug the thing in. Please make sure that it's not connected to your computer and press next. Okay. Oh, oops, I just undid all our hard work. Now, you're gonna wanna go into Megabyte. This is the um driver. And you're gonna wanna just rename this. Two UV Funkies one or something. And go back and install UV Funkies 4.8. Okay. This one seemed to have run already quickly. So FK install it out there for run. Okay, so we somehow to Bypass that. Okay, so there's like some files we, it is trying to run. And we're going to go. Where's the uh, Explorer? <laughs> Alright, so. What we're going to try and do is go C, Program Files, UV Funkies 1. Let's see, does this have that EXD file it's trying to run? WD Reg. Yes, it does. Let's go UV Funkies. Let's see, what is it? Okay, it was already put in here, so we're going to quickly delete the folder. Paste in our new folder. Okay, we paste it in. Error sign Fatal error. Program terminated. Okay, we're going to go to plan C. Oh, wait, eh, no, it's running, it's running. Oh. I love this game so much. I cannot express how much I love this game. And of course, playing on a system it wasn't meant to be played on. As you can tell, 
not doing it any favors. <laughs> Trademarks and trade dress are in the Please wait while I check your UB. It says that. Uh, because it doesn't even detect that it's not plugged in. But! Remember that we have UB Funkies 1.0 somewhere. Uh, this is 4.8. That's the installer. That's the installer. This is the Radica game. I think we can just rename this to 4.8. Make it right to 4.8. And just go. Pop over to UB1. Let's go program files, the funkies one, and just copy a megabyte from there. Alright, there we go. And now we can run it again. It's very laggy. And it's turning full screen now. I love that this mouse is so thin you can just see through it. I think I've said this before. Please wait while I check your TV. Not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Plug it in. New hardware found. Megabyte. Should I have plugged it in? Ah, oh, I love how long it takes to open. WD Reg. Okay, hopefully that made it work. Did I go Megabyte 48 by accident? I'm just hitting buttons now. Okay. Oh, that was not a good idea. Control panel. Don't know why it's uh, not uh, working. Okay, well, let's go properties. That's amazing. I'm glad that happened. Seven, ten, three, four, five, seven, six, eight. And it looks great. Okay, now why isn't control panel working? Oh wait, I could just talk about control panel. Okay, well control panel's broken. I'm gonna make sure I executed the one in here. I definitely did not. WD Reg GUI. Okay, well then I'll just do D fix API DLL is missing. Oh, it went 16. Oh, awesome! It's not 16. Uninstaller 9x. Installer 9x. Bam. Oh, Apparently that did work this time, and it seems to have done something. Oh, it's um. Oh, uh, I almost fell. <laughs> oh, new hardware found USB device. Awesome. Oh, no, wait, Radical Games, scroll down. UB Funkies. And hopefully, hopefully this works. <laughs> I love this game. I want to eventually get the Paradox Green version. I'll see if I can get that to run if I do get it. Slow fading, really slow fading. Really slow fading. Arcadium goes swingy. And there we go.
Eh. Okay. Oh, surprise, let me, let me check to see if there's anything new in Terrapinia. No. Loading Funkist Town. Welcome to Funkist Town, I may say so. <laughs> Okay. It's sure taking its sweet time loading. The LED for the hard drive. Oh, it blinked a little bit there. Yeah. It runs bad. Awesome. My visit is so far a great one. I mean, look at the quality of this gameplay. Let's go up in this building. Let's change this mid walking because, you know, awesomeness. Well, I might do a playthrough of this at some point, like a playthrough, I don't know about like the entire game. Right, see, these things are a little bit finicky. And you need the stand to play it, that's why you can't play it at all on Windows 10, so... You gotta transform it for me. I gotta make sure the thing still, this thing works right. get another funky room. Okay, I'm back and have... Oh wait, that, something's wrong with it? No, it's not. Please say no. Maybe you shouldn't program the entire game in Shockwave Flash. <laughs> Doesn't sound like a good idea to me. Sounds like a good idea to Mattel. <laughs> I tried to charge my battery up while it was, uh, you know, installing, but it uh, fell out of the charger, so it didn't charge up. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, yeah. Username. Uh, oh wait, there's a test account there. Okay, awesome. This is a fun game if it works, when it works. It does work sometimes. They're magnetic. So that's nice. First off, that quest icon. Nice and fluid on like, you know. I don't know, loading in these players. Let's go inside the station. Let the dog <laughs> This is not mm -hmm. dirty. Let me just try rubbing it with my finger. Because definitely detects something about it because the tiger screwed everything up. I'm not going to try my game because screwed everything up. Something is wrong with my UV, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, maybe this one would have worked. Hmm. I sure hope it's just not a lot of lag. If, if I have to hold one on for like an hour and a half before it'll do something, that'd be pretty stupid. You 
think at least something would happen. Well, trust me. The stand should be working. That's not the person I have on there. Awesome, it's just like an hour and a half delay. Well, I shall turn off the camera now. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, and if you did, you can dislike it. Leave a comment if you want to see me play this, I guess. I mean, I'm gonna play it at some point. Um, I mean, I have played it. I definitely will play it, but I might play it for YouTube. But yeah, subscribe and turn on notifications if you do want to see me play it at some point as well, because I mean, like, I wanna get notified of when I start playing it, if I ever do, if it works even on this. But, at some point we might record like a really retro Let's Play video with Cam Studio. But yeah, my camera's dying. It's I've got four minutes left on recording. It's just not... I'm not... I will turn it back on if it transforms though. But yeah, be sure to watch my other videos if you want to wait until I do do a video on this probably. But yeah, bye. I forgot that we need to shut down. Doesn't make shut down nice. Well, that was worthless. Bye.